Hi everyone and welcome to Control Alt Craft. Rose with you today and we are looking at my Sims 4 speed build. As you probably saw in the title and thumbnail, yes, we are making a poly pocket. Now, I have made one of these previously and if you would like to check it out, I will leave a description in the box below. Uh, the first one I made was a strawberry poly pocket and this one is an apple one. So I remember Polly Pocket from when I was growing up as a little kid and you could collect like all these different ones and they're like these little, uh, it's hard to explain. I guess Polly Pocket is like the ultimate explanation is in the name. Um, but you, it's like a little, uh, like a plastic thing that opens up and it's got like a miniature dollhouse and you'd have this little Polly figurine and she'd live in the dollhouse. And they're all themed on different things. And um, I think the originals were themed on fruits. Uh, so I didn't record my uh, strawberry Polly Pocket, but I did record my Apple one for you guys. Now, I think also when I was a kid, there was a Polly Pocket website. And you could go online and log in and like you had Polly and you had to do like a whole bunch of different missions or something. I think there was a game with dolphins and you had to guide the dolphin through the hoops underwater. Um, like there was just so many different things you could do. And my favorite obviously was dressing Polly up because that's every girl's favorite, right? Um, so that was pretty cool when you was a kid. I had all the fads when I was a kid. It was like Barbie, Bratz, Polly Pocket, Tamagotchi was huge for ages. Man, having a bit of a nostalgia trip. Apologies. Anyway, one of the fun things about this video while I was recording it was that I was listening to Outside Xbox and Outside Extra. I follow their channels and watch a lot of their stuff. I could just watch a playlist all day, every day. So I highly recommend you check out the channel if you haven't. Uh, but it was funny because while I was recording this, there was no sound from The Sims game. But the recording had actually recorded the audio from the YouTube videos I was watching over the top of this footage that you're seeing now. So while I was editing it, it was strange to have to listen to these videos but watch my Polly Pocket build. It was a bit odd. Anyway, so this will be my first video, I believe, on my channel. So you're probably wondering what on earth Control Alt Craft even is. So Control Alt Craft is basically me, and I couldn't make up my mind as to whether or not I wanted to do a craft channel or a video game channel. And so I went, you know what, I'm just going to do both, because why not? So this is what has become of that. So I play all sorts of games. Um, what have I played recently? Oh, oh my gosh, I am obs obsessed with Legend of Zelda. Like, obsessed. You'll probably see a lot of that on my channel. Uh, I recently downloaded Elder Scrolls online, and I'd like to do a playthrough of that. So keep your eye out for that. But I am also very crafty. So I love soap making is my latest fad. Uh, I made a geode soap, which you can check out on my Instagram page if you want to follow that. Uh, and I made a ocean bed soap, which was a bit of fun as well. And I crochet and I sew and I embroider. Just about anything crafty, I'll give a go. I love craft. So that's a bit about me and that's pretty much what my channel is going to look like. So if you're into nerdy stuff and you're into craft, I mean, I'll, I don't know how this channel is going to evolve over time. Uh, I'm really not looking to do it as something serious. Uh, it's more just a little fun hobby of mine because I love doing these things and I'd like to share it with other people, especially my craft, because I think... You know, it's important to share how to do things. I think crafting is just invaluable, uh, especially for mental health. So if you're interested in learning how to make something or do something crafty, then I'm going to be putting up a lot of tutorials on my YouTube channel for you to follow. So yeah, that's a bit about what my channel is going to look like. 
Now, I do have a day job, so this is not going to be something that is updated like on a daily basis or anything. It's really just going to be a chill, whenever I have the time, whenever I feel like it kind of channel. So do bear that in mind. Uploads won't be regular or consistent or on a schedule. It'll just be whenever I feel like it. Fair enough. <laughs> so what am I doing at the moment? Um, I think I skipped ahead a little bit from where I'm recording with my voice because I made an ins accident in my video that I'm going to have to edit out before I put this up. But I've been putting together the Polly Pocket. Now the tree in the middle, the huge tree that you see, uh, that tree is just classic of the apple one. I think I put it in my strawberry one, but I remember the apple one had a huge apple tree in the middle of it. And I used to pretend that, you know, Polly would pick the apples off the tree and eat them. So that, and the hot tub, I think was in the strawberry one. Oh no, the strawberry one had like a factory. It was like a little, was that the, oh man, I can't even, I'm just having flashbacks. Okay. Anyway, so they're not entirely accurate to their actual Polly Pockets. It was more just like, oh, lol, Polly Pocket, why don't I give it a go and make it in The Sims? So that's what I did. It was just a bit of fun. Um, the green color palette was a bit difficult. Uh, there aren't too many green color swatches that match uh, in The Sims 4. And when they don't entirely match, they clash really badly. Uh, which is why I liked that wallpaper, that sort of messy wallpaper of all the different greens, is because I could put different green colored items in the build and they would match with the different greens in the wall so they wouldn't clash too much. Um, but again, I mean, I did the best I could with what I had. Now, I do have almost all of the Sims packs, the expansion packs. So if you don't have one of them, it may affect how this plays in your game. Like you may be missing an item or two. Um, the only pack I don't have is the joke of a pack that was released recently called My First Pet Stuff, I believe. Um, yeah, no, no. I watched enough YouTubers bag that out and I was like, no thanks, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> so, rip. Wow, we're only about seven minutes in. I'm going to talk for another seven minutes. What am I going to talk about? Oh, dear. Well, I'm currently recording this voiceover on a new microphone that I bought, which I'm really excited about. So this microphone is a Blue Yeti. No, it is not a mythical creature. That is the name of the brand and the microphone that they produced. So I'm just testing it out. I've been playing around with it for a little bit and man the sound is insane because I have I think it's a Siberia Steel Series 150 headset with a microphone built into it and it's average like it's very tinny very echoey it picks up everything now this microphone still picks up like the clacking of my keyboard I have a mechanical keyboard that's really loud and like the clicking of my mouse but it's not as prominent or as tinny so I can sort of talk over the top of it and it doesn't really affect the recording which is pretty cool who's messaging me ah oh, yes so my boyfriend wants me to test my microphone on discord tonight when we chat um, I'm keen to do that because I'm pretty excited to show him my bargain. All right, so I think at this point in the recording, I'll be doing lighting. Lighting outdoor lighting in The Sims is like, I don't know why it's so different to the indoor lighting, why the engine has to be different. I don't understand because it's not like that in real life. So I'm not sure why it's that way in The Sims. Maybe someone is a bit more programmer inclined can tell me otherwise but yes it's annoying I would have liked it not to be like that on the outside of my Polly Pocket when she's living in her house now I haven't player tested this so if someone wants to play a test it and let me know that would be awesome but uh I didn't play a test it and the bathroom oh I didn't do much in the bathroom I'm not really a bathroom person I'll be honest um, so I didn't really invest much into that. 
but the rest of the house I'm pretty stoked with. I really like those butterflies too from the kids room stuff pack. Um, you'll probably see me putting them up, up in the bathroom. Um, I put them up somewhere else in the house as well, I think in the kitchen, um, but I think I do that off camera. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Anyway, I'm just adding some more decorations at this point. While I was doing this, I was downloading um, Elder Scrolls Online and it took forever. Like, I mean, forever. So the way the downloading works is that it did it in percentage. So from like zero to 100 as you download, but it didn't do it for like the download total. Like if you had to download in total, like 40 gig or whatever, it didn't, wasn't like a percentage based on the whole 40 gig. I think it was a percentage based on what things it had to download. So like it had to download the base game, which took up the first 25 or 26%. But then it had to download a patch and the patch wasn't even a gig, I don't think. And then it jumped from 25% to like 60 something percent when that was done. You know, like it was just all over the place. It took me like almost a day to download the first 25% and then I did the rest of it in another day, which was insane. It was so weird. Anyway, I'm keen to get into that. Um, I don't want to talk about other games while you're watching a video of a different game, but I am really excited for that because I really wanted to play Dungeons and Dragons. And I have a character that I made for D&D. Like, I'm all ready to go, but I just can't find a party to play with. And um, so this, for me, I think will uh, maybe fill that little hole that's niggling in my life of wanting to play D&D, at least for a little while. Um, I think D&D with other people around a table is just far superior but I think um, Elder Scrolls Online will just uh, satisfy that need for a little while which will be good so I look forward to doing that. In my D&D I am a human rogue pirate whose name is Zelda and you can guess where I got that name from uh, and she's just oh she is awesome uh, but in my Elder Scrolls Online I think I want to go as a high elf sorcerer. I've been looking into it. I think that's what I'm going to do. So anyway, keep an eye out for that video. That'll go up at some point. What am I doing now? I think I'm doing landscaping now. Yes, I've made a few errors in my recording and putting together the um, video that I'll have to cut out. So as I'm voicing this, I'm watching the recording that I haven't yet fully finished. So I'll have to go through and cut out little bits where I like change screens to do something quickly. And so that popped up over the top or, um, so it's hard for me to gauge now where I'm at. Oh, well, rookie error. It's my first time. You can't really blame me, right? Anyway, I really like some of those cute, um, romantic garden, garden things like the flowers and the bushes and because they're so fantastical, like they're just like from another another world or another realm like you know like you can make a fairy garden or something out of them like they're just amazing um so I thought they worked really well for a Polly Pocket house you know um they'd work well for like a Barbie house or something too the pristine rose bushes that almost look fake you know it's just like yeah perfect for this kind of thing the landscaping's very minimal um mostly because I was getting a bit bored of the landscaping um Anyway, so we're nearing the end of the video. Uh, we'll be entering screenshots. Uh, I just want to thank you for watching and for keeping me company today. Uh, I've really enjoyed this and I'm hoping that I'll put up more speed builds in the future. I like to do some pretty wacky things, so keep an eye out for that. And yeah, I guess I'll catch you guys next time. Uh, if you have any comments, leave them down below. Uh, like the video, subscribe, whatever you like, tell your friends about it, and I'll catch you all next time. Bye!